Hello, this is Sean Newman from MP3 Car. Today I'm doing a quick unboxing video for the Heads Up Car Display A8. This is an OBD2 driven Heads Up Display or HUD system, uh, aftermarket system for most vehicles made after 1996. And with that, let's go ahead and crack this open. And first thing we have here is obviously the display unit. Uh, it's a very large display unit, 5.5 inches. Um, it does pack a lot of information, and we'll get to that more in the full review, but let's go ahead and get this packaging off and see what we have here. All right, so display unit itself, uh, again, is 5.5 inches. On one side, you have the mini USB uh, connector for the OBD2 cable that's included. Uh, we have an on off switch and then we have a configuration menu dial that lets you go up or down or click and that will set the various settings to make sure that it's used for your car. Uh, that's basically all that the display model has on it. Everything's on one side that's nice and convenient. Uh, there is no wireless remote with this device. There was with a competing model of another device that we took a look at. Uh, the Echo Man EM05, or I'm sorry, the EM08 maybe is what the review called, uh, but this one does not come with a wireless remote. You'll have to reach up and do all your settings from the device itself. This is the OBD2 cable. Uh, again, this is a little bit, a shade less than three feet long. Should be plenty enough for most installations. Uh, might be a little bit troublesome if you're trying to hide some of the wire and not have it sitting out on your dashboard, but uh, I'm sure that you can find various OBD2 extensions in order to accommodate that. Again, this is a mini USB. Uh, that's kind of important because it allows you to actually connect this to a regular old mini USB, plug it into a 5 volt source, and be able to control your settings without having to be in the car. Uh, but that being said, this is the cable that comes with it. OBD2 slides into the diagnostic port of the car and on this end that gets connected to the heads up display device. Here we have our sticky pad which gets placed on the dash of course and that just goes ahead and protects the device from slipping around. These do a pretty good job as long as you can keep them firmly on the dashboard themselves. Sometimes the adhesive will give after a couple months or a period of time and they slip around instead of the display unit everything just kind of falls around but we'll go ahead and try to use that in our review later. Uh, here is the manual. It's uh, noticeably brief and sometimes hard to understand uh, but it does give you the various settings that you can change and what the uh, display equivalent of those settings is. That's the most important thing. Everything else you kind of understand. The, the device does have an on and off switch as I mentioned but you don't actually have to use it uh, the device will actually turn itself off once the power has been shut down from the diagnostic port which also brings us to the popular point that uh, this does not need an external power source the OBD2 device connector is what provides the power uh, so you don't have to worry about running two wires lastly in the box is the reflective element and what this does it prevents uh, the ghosting image that would normally display on a windshield that has two different pieces of glass pressed together and if you were to emit the OBT2 uh, heads up display through that without this reflective material then what you get is a duplication of displays or that ghosting effect that I'm sure you guys are familiar with. So that is it for this one. Uh, this is the a8 heads up car display and for the full review check out mp3 car later this is sean newman signing off thanks for watching